Greetings friends, Jollis Paul here. We're playing Gordian Quest again. And uh we we finally made it out of of the city. Um we we were able to go through the portals and uh we found out what supplies were for. <laughs> so many things happened in the last episode. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um so we can now move around uh using these uh these special uh these special things. I'm gonna just make sure. Okay, old burial grounds. That's where that is where we want to go. Um, basically, we traveled out here using supplies. Uh, it's, it's a camping camping location. Here's a place to heal ourselves. Various man, I'm not able to move my thing around very well right now. Oh, I, <laughs> I was trying to use the middle. I'm used to like editing on, on like Gibbs and you have to use the middle mouse button to move around with that. And I was doing that, but it's, it's just left click. Uh, pursuing the Rift, Rift Lord, search for the Rift Lord and the various crypts, uh, and the buried burial grounds. Okay. So we could go, let's go to this one first, I think. Let's go to this one first. Do it. Why are you not going? It requires. Yep, we can do it. Nope. We can do that one. We can't do this one. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that one. I didn't want to do this one anyway. All right. All right. So we got these these fights. It's level ten, and we are level nine. Level nine. Level nine. So I think. I think we're okay. Uh, this is just, I think we're okay. There's just the three, what's this one? Air contains crates and three zombies. So let's go here first. Oh, there's a spot to heal us. That's great. You may notice that we're wearing, we're wearing some nice, uh, some nice headphones today. Man, it's actually been a while um, since I've been, since I've played this game. Uh, let's see here. We'll get, we'll do show of force, obviously. No reason not to. Um, and then we'll, we'll go like this, and we'll swing at ya. Let's take out this, this lower, lower health individual. And we retain cards now, which is kind of cool. Um... It's just a trigger. We can draw. All right, that's actually good. I like the idea of summoning this this wolf now. The earlier, the better. Okay. And then she. Let's see, this guy is attacking her, him, wolf, wolf. Okay. Uh, so I think shield block. Shield block is probably a good thing, and then we'll strike, strike this one. Well, that's debilitating. Blow that guy, and yeah, we should we should just strike that guy. Make sure he's not attacking. Okay. Let's see what they do. It's, it's totally fine. It's better than fine. It's it's downright. He is. Those cards are burning. Um, let's go ahead and start fighting this. <laughs> let's fight this thing. Take out some, some of its health. Uh, we used up our... That's kind of a bummer. We used up her uh, attack of opportunity. But now, the 10 armor is going to get soaked up by her. Um, Taking the slash. You... Not have vulnerable. Can't hit that guy. Well, might as well rock that dude. And then can I just take him out? I can. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Gain three focus draw, two cards. I will. Okay, I'm gonna do this. 
and reveal this. Nice. And he's back to full. Oh, wait. I want her to have full health if I can. And then she's going to take four damage. That's too bad. Three damage. Okay. Easy game. Easy, easy game. I want to go here. That's, that's great. Okay, now you, I could use movement. Awesome. Pretty good. All right, we're almost level 10, that's good. Spell damage, spell damage, cold resist. So that might be good for our, uh, for Catherine, our, our paladin lady. Only missing three HP. Pretty good. Uh, okay, yeah, definitely better than the base engraved ring. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we want. We're, we're good here. We're good with this, this setup. Um. Here's an encounter. Oh, here's some treasure. Grab some treasure. And let's do this, I guess. <laughs> replace a skill in your deck. I don't think I want to replace any skills. I've got a pretty nice setup. Yeah, it, it, we could have... <laughs> oh, we have a new IC. So there's another fight. I already drops a rare item though. I mean, come on. <laughs> so these battles, these battles do take a little while, but um, that's fine. If I move first, the show of forces is better. And then we can rock, rock these guys. And uh, let's parry. Um, seismic shift. That's a lot of might. <laughs> I think we'll go with that, and then we'll go against this guy. That's too bad. I didn't realize she was going to swap with him. I don't understand how, like, why not just move here, right? Like, why, why did it choose to have her move? there instead of some other places. Whatever. Uh, let's go the rotating bolt. Okay, and then I think we'll just do this to make sure this guy's dead. So we're taking a little bit of damage there. That's you know, it's not the end of the world, though. Let's apply to that guy. Sweet. Fantastic. And then uh, not enough AP. So we're going to end. You can move here for free. Swipe, and then he's going to attack of opportunity. We'll guard. Might as well guard twice. And then you... Go here. Easy game. All right, good. We're, we're gaining some levels here. Five guard for every ally adjacent to you. Yeah, we don't have that. We don't have the archer dude, so that's just money. Um, sure, let's just keep powering up. 
I guess we didn't level, level her up, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, this is a tougher fight, for sure. Um, that being said, I think if we take out the bloat. The bloat. Okay, I see it did have to go to the front row. I didn't read that well enough. Oh, we can move here. Move here and tackle this guy. Let's tackle that guy. I'd like to take him out completely if, if possible. Debilitating. And righteous blow. Fantastic. Then I can smite this dude. Fine. Okay. Not not bad. 58. Let's just go with that. Shoo, we got him. <laughs> nice. And you... Let's draw. Oh, nice. It is. It is good. Let's see. Can I give you vulnerable? No. This is better. Let's see. Oh, you are getting attacked. Let's guard then. An unforceful swipe. That's fine. Look at that. Look at that. No problem. No problem, dude. Another helm, another attack of opportunity. Those are so nice to have. Bonus initiative. A random skill. Or should we give her extra health? Or should we go for primal here? Let's go primal. Um, ferocious blow is pretty, pretty nice. These are all fairly mediocre though. Instinct. Let's redraw one more time. Deal eight damage, gain two strength the rest of this battle when you kill an enemy with this kill or with this skill. I think I like Apex Predator. Sweet. That seemed pretty good. All right. Let's. Oh, skill block unlocked. Let's. Elemental. Oh, okay, another elemental. I guess it's just a matter of what. We can go this route. No, oh, no, that's not really good. <laughs> uh, that's that's all right. There. All right. Now, as far as equipment goes, yeah, they've all got it. Can she use it? I don't think she can. That helmet. Attack of opportunity. She can use it. Fantastic. Uh, none of these are all that 
incredible jump slash. Actually, this is better than this is better than what, what I have. But his swift maybe swift strike is better. What do we have here? I like having one armor. That's really, really nice. One extra card every five turns. So it's Sword of the Bear or just... Extra strength. Oh, so tough. So tough. I think I like... <laughs> oh, boots. Oh, man. Gotta have yourself... You know, decked out. It's important. I think this is better. I think that's better than what we had before. Okay. I did the druid is good to go. What's this for you? Is this better? Max HP and intelligence. Three guard. No, that's better. And you... I think I think you've got everything you need. Okay, back to the map. Um, let's let's take this one out, and then maybe we need to maybe we'll go to the healing spot at that point, and then we'll go to the next floor down. Battle commences. Oh, this is a good spot. And parry. Uh, an easy turn. Not a whole lot to think about. I'm going to summon a spirit wolf here. Is anyone attacking you? Nope. So let's just apex predator this guy. All right. Hmm. That's that's good. Shield block. Might as well follow through a little bit. Okay. Nice. No damage taken. I want her to heal herself. Need to, I don't really want to shift. Actually, I don't even really want to. <laughs> I don't even really want to go like that. Go like that. I'm gonna go like that. He's dead. Dang, man. You. You can wound. You can swipe. Can you apply a vulnerable? Can't, can't, can't go anyway. But you can kill him. Take a little bit of damage there, but. Okay, I think, I think we do want to go down here and holy force. And then heal yourself. Focus. Okay. I might as well. Got the attack of opportunity. That's pretty nice. It's pretty much... Yeah, it's dead. All right. All right we are all level 10 now. More attacks of opportunity. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Fully healed. Let's level up. Um, spirit heal healer, I think. Deliverance. Ah. 
That's just going to be a dead. I'd rather just avoid. <laughs> like, can we just avoid anyone dying, please? And then we don't have to worry about that. Delay damage. Holy strike. Ugh. I don't really like any of these. Replaced existing skill. Let's replace a skill. Let's replace gain channel equal to the number of channeled spells played this turn. I think I think we want to get rid of Divine Surge, to be honest. To be completely honest. Uh, with Righteous Flame. Deal 50 damage to targets in a row. A row. Deal 9 damage. Apply 17 vulnerable. <laughs> I think that that's... Let's, let's go with Holy Bolt. That sounds like fun. Let's learn that skill. Learn that skill. All right. And then you... Uh, do we go swordsmanship with you, perhaps? Yeah. Or should we do leadership? Ooh, leadership two, even. Boom. Unlock node. Intervention. Grand ally in the row. Three haste. I think I like intervention the best of all those. My skills have been honed. And down the cellar you go. Or the crypt. <laughs> okay, this is not... This is not really... Awesome. Several skeleton corpses lie crumpled in a small alcove. The glint of something shiny among them catches your eye. Bad outcome, good outcome. Let's just add a node modifier. And how about this one? You push open the door to the final resting chamber. It lies dusty and decrepit. The Rift Lord isn't in this crypt. Okay, let's fight this guy. Should be, should be pushovers. Should be a couple of bunch of pushovers. Pommel strike. Pommel strike you. Steel edge you and you're dead. Show force. Could have showed a force earlier. Didn't. <laughs> am I am I sorry about it? Not really. Do I really not have any attacks? What? What a bummer. I can, I can shift around like a boss, though. Let's see. You're attacking him. You're attacking him. You're attacking her. Now they're both attacking her. Which is kind of annoying. But this guy's going to intervene. So that's something. Gain five. Critical. Quick draw. Look at that. Fifteen. Let's gain some critical here and strike this dude. And kill this dude. That's okay. That's okay. Um, sure, free retaliation. Swing, slash, slosh. Apex Predator. We're gonna Apex Predator your... You dude. And you shall blessedly strike her. Uh, it. Not her. Okay. Ooh, a Null Stone. Draw one card every four turns. Lightning Resist. Okay. Oh. 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 Mend. Ho oh, ho ho ho. This, this is the, uh, is the thing we wanted for Catherine the whole time. Quick draw. Uh, yeah. Oh, Catherine's armor. How very nice. Mana charge. Gain two channel, gain two might. Apply one root to self. Plus 2% XP gained. Two agility. Corpse and Paler, so we can use this with our Druid. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Super. Okay. One one crypt 
One crypt down. <laughs> uh, can we do another one? I think we do another one. We're not even that low on health. Let's go here. Descend. Let's take this. Let's do this event first. You spot a lever and pulley along the hallway with which holds a ceiling chandelier in place. Several skeletons mill about the adjacent foyer, unaware of your presence. There might be an opportunity to take them all out with a well-timed pull. Uh, okay, we got some. Let's lure them in and drop the chandelier. I think Ida. I bet Ida could do this. We don't really we don't really dodge with her all that much. So I think we're going to win. <laughs> oh, we did not. Uh, we're going to re-roll, though. <laughs> we're gonna, that didn't happen. Oh, a perfect 20. Do we get anything special for a perfect 20? The chandler drops on a gang of skeletons, obliterating them. What? <sighs> fine fine all right this is a this is the tough room shift one gain some might and we're gonna keen strike this guy and we're gonna pommel strike this guy because we are gonna do some damage to him Rock him. Rock him with that. Rock him with this. And then you are gonna rock him too. Super and then smite. 23. A little bit bummer. A little bit of a bummer that we couldn't take him out. Ouch. Slow. She slowed. Sure, we'll baton pass. It's the first time I've ever baton passed. <laughs> uh Ah, why am I why why am I doing it that way? It's so silly. It was very silly. I apologize, friends. Right, so four. Okay. Now... Oh, oh, we have to break it before the battle ends. I, okay, yeah, no, I knew that. I knew that. I don't want to shift, though. Yeah, I was thinking about moving, but I don't think I, I don't think I will. AP, okay. Didn't open up the crate, that's okay. Now, I know there are some like very rare, very rare things in this, in this game. This would be good for Catherine, I think, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we're a little lower on health here, which is kind of obnoxious. Do we need to clear? Let's just go. Can we just go? Almost out of my, almost out of my cord there. Okay, let's go here. 
You push open the doors of the final resting chamber. It lies dusty and decrepit. The Rift Lord isn't in this crypt. Okay. So we're zero for two. Yeah, we're just going to do that. And no problem. No problem. These guys are these guys are hosed. Noxious touch is a bit annoying. I'm not going to shift. But we'll hold on to it. Maybe we'll want to shift next time. Enough. Three, two, two. Okay. Cool. If I have critical, I'll draw a card. Against refocus, draw two cards. Blessed strike. Nice. Nice. He he guarded her. That was that was cool. Hey, that was an opener. You were supposed to use your keen, keen strike. It's an opener. It's supposed to make another ability. Oh, well, no, yeah, it's supposed to make another ability free. Hmm. Fine. <laughs> um. AP. Oh, right, because I'm, I'm also, I'm also poor. So it's like, do I stay here for the attack of opportunity? Probably shouldn't. Yeah, no, no need to to go too crazy here. Move up and shield block. Part of me wants to wait for Catherine to get, possibly get a, uh, jeez. Oh, so much damage, man. Let's see, let's just, I'm gonna give her, give her one turn to get some healing. Well, oh yeah, right. <laughs> she can't use her healing card if she's not, you know, if there's no enemies to attack. All right, uh, let's just go, let's just exit, man. Let's just return to entrance, let's go. We've got supplies. It's one. We've got plenty of supplies. Let's go to this event. From the tree line, a lone woman lurches into your view. Her clothes are tattered and bloody. She cautiously waves at you, pleads for your help. Mercy, traveler, my husband, he's being attacked and needs help. We are out foraging when these murderers attack. Please help. Uh, oh, man. Can't, can't do that. We gotta follow her. The woman... You follow the woman in the woods, and soon enough, the path leads to a clearing. A, a group of cultists stand over the body of a man who appears to have been stabbed multiple times. The woman drops to her knees in anguish. The cultists bear down on you, eager for some fresh offerings. Continue. And we're going to fight them. All right. I'm not too worried about these guys. Right? Let's be... Let's be... Let's be frank here. You may regret... You may regret all this business that you... Well, follow through? Yeah, we'll go with this. Um, we can shift here and tackle... Wait, beast within. And then tackle. 32. I 
as well use this whenever we can. Prayer. I think shield block is pretty important for her. We gotta heal Ida for sure. extra might there pass the baton um that's pretty good and then dodge I think. go here deal 16 apply vulnerable One shield block to do. Might as well apply 17 vulnerable to that guy. Retaliation. Slash. Super. Super deal. Where's all your Where's all your stuff, man? Huh? <laughs> He's done. Ack. I'm just gonna parry. I I wanna give Catherine another chance to heal. Turn, can you heal? You cannot, but can. Nope. Can't can't do it. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we gained some we gained some levels here. That's good. Alright. Clearly. Let's go to the shrine. And at the shrine. Yeah, man. Why not heal the full? That's awesome. Okay, let's go with. Let's go with. Oh, I want to go primal. I want to get. I want to go here. Let's unlock this one so I can get primal three. Oh wait, there's another one right here. Let's go with that. Some extra health. Oh, it's gonna be good. We can add another thing to our grid. I think I wanna go, I think I wanna go right here. Cause that's the Spirit Healer three. Okay, and then we'll go here. Unlock a node. A mastered skill. An extra four damage. Come on. More. None of these seem all that amazing. It's like they're not they're not very interesting. <laughs> I mean this one is the most maybe the potentially the most damage, so we'll master that one. I don't know, I'm not I wasn't too impressed with those options. To be to be honest with you. Okay, we're still we're still doing really awesome uh, for for all the <laughs> for all the trouble we've been through. Uh, let's go to the the camp first, and let's do all the camping things. Gains a skill point. Oh man, who's that? I think I want Catherine to gain a skill point. She's one away from getting her, or what have have you. We don't need to heal. 
Hero gains a skill point. We'll give Ida a skill point. How about you draw an activity card? Removes a skill of choice. Alrighty. So what are we moving or removing? I don't know. I love most of his stuff. <laughs> He's got a lot of really good abilities. Maybe baton pass. That's right, I forgot about that. These are all pretty great. Maybe just a, a random, a regular slash. Okay. No, oh, pass an hour, pass an hour. Oh, they got their skill points. Spirit Healer 3. Draw a card from your expended pile. Convert a temp heal card to a permanent, not expendable card. The heal card will cost 2 AP. <laughs> we'll redraw. Reveal 3 random temp, rare, or epic heal card. Keep 1. Alright. I don't... Ugh. It, it's like... The way that channel works just doesn't feel good. Primal aspect. Oh, morph into a bear! <gasps> That's awesome. We're morphing into a bear, friends. Friends, did you know that we were morphing into a bear? It's so cool. All right. Um, I, <laughs> you know, I normally I would uh, normally. Why can I not go there? Why can't I go to there? It's a quest location. Do we not? Do we have to go all the way back and clear this out? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're saying? What is going on? Why can we not go here? Can't go there. Can't go there, 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 can't go there. Well, where the heck can we go? What's going on? What am I missing? Why not? What? Oh, we have to pass the rest of the time. Add one supplies. Okay. Oh. I didn't realize that they were going to have cards exhausted from oh man all right okay now we can go oh gosh I was like what is happening all right we're going well then let's take a look okay oh rest to be able to use it again I kind of feel like maybe that's important. One card is... She's got one card. Oh, man. He's got a lot of cards that are exhausted. Well. Well, I think, I think we're still okay, though. Right? Let's go here. We're just going to go with this 
we've, we've done this one before. We're just gonna move on and gain some, some might and some fate. <laughs> and here, I think this is our fight. This is our fight with the Rift Lord. Do we wanna just do it? I think we kinda do. Let's fight the Rift Lord. I mean, what the heck? Arriving at the stairs to the lower crypt, you feel a familiar chill and dread wash over you. The Rift Lord is most definitely in here. A wispy shadow barrier seems to bar the way forward. A black gem floats in the center of the passage, quaking with turbulent energies. When you step near it, you feel your limbs freeze up, and the sudden weight of a hundred voices screaming in your head sends you reeling backward. The way forward is sealed off for the moment. Perhaps wind will have some insights into this. Aha. Okay. Let's go talk to Wynn. It is decided. It is decided. It is... Okay, we go this way then. What, the pathfinding is quite poor. Quite poor in this game. Uh, bang. I just want to move on. Just move on. Thank you. We have to... We have to do it. have to do something here. Fine. We don't, we don't need it, but we'll do it anyway. Okay. Go here. Let me talk to Win. Uh, uh, okay. I thought we were going to use the thing and just teleport us there. Whatever. And then we probably need to rest. Okay, we're going to go with a stately room. We've got so much gold. Well, if, if they're all healed up, but I'm pretty sure they're fatigued. Right? No, they're not fatigued anymore. So what's the point of the inn? Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It, it's not important. Let's go to Marco the Merchant first. Oh. Grants assessment, grants battle orders. Retain for every adjacent ally. Adjacent allies gain one retain. That's pretty cool. Strength rolls are lucky. Grants clarity. That's crazy. AP reduced by one. Oh. 24 guard. If you do not play an attack this turn, restore 6 HP. Oh! Dang! So we now have a way for a character to heal up if, if need be. Unfortunately, you've got... Oh, wait, that's... That's a spear! <gasps> Summons have a cost reduced by 1. Are you kidding me right now? Of course we're gonna... Sell. Let's just sell all this crap. I want Is there a quick, quicker way to do this? Please give me a quicker way to do this. I don't think we're gonna have enough gold, are we? Maybe this isn't the best place to do it. That's the same. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey. Cool. I don't know if we could have gotten a better deal anywhere else. Oh wait, these are all the magic ones, that's why. Oh, I can select them all. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, well, we're going to sell all that because she's getting a spear, baby. She's getting a spear, baby. Cool. Oh, man. You got some new equipment, lady. A unique. That's awesome. So excited about that. Let's go talk to Wynn. 
An impenetrable barrier made of shadows? It sounds like necromancy at work. Heretical magic, if you will. Our history books tell us that the Venai devised spells like these fueled by pain and ritual sacrifice. It's a blessing that the blood-stained knowledge of these arts have died with them. Yet outside the reaches of the law, there are some who delve into these depths of madness, unafraid of persecution or the fatal consequences of dabbling with something they don't understand. The cultists you fought earlier are working to further the Rift Lord's goals. That much is clear. If we can find them, it will lead us closer to the Rift Lord. The black gem you saw is likely an obsidian stone, a reagent that keeps these barriers active. If you can find more of the same stones, it's possible we could use its properties to cancel the barrier's effect. If anyone knows where to find more of them, it would be the Merchant Marco. Marco. Obsidian? Now that you mention it. Some months ago, two of my caravans were attacked en route to Silverkeep. The drivers got away with their lives, but my commodities were stolen. The first time it happened on route, on a route through the Vale Woods. The second was along the moors. I suppose these areas would be good starting points if you searched. If you're searching for some obsidian, you'd be doing me a favor as well if you would find the interlopers and brought them to justice. Okay. The Vale Woods and the moors are in the west and south, respectively. I'll mark down the fastest route to the waypoints in the air region on your map. In recent months, the animals that roam the Vale Woods have become far more aggressive attacking patrol groups and civilians in the farmlands. Cases of kidnappings and murders have also been happening more frequently in the moors. I suspect the cultists are at large, but there's a lot of land to cover out there and barely enough manpower to keep the city in one piece. Time is of the essence. Safe travels out there. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have no supplies, so we gotta buy some supplies. Bop. Bop. Purchase. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just fill it up. Fill her up, Captain. All right. And we don't need to rent a room. Oh, all right. We got to go down here now. Sweet. Into the Vale Woods. Okay. So, um, we will continue our story our epic quest in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel uh, or, and liking the video. Uh, I, I hope that you're doing very well and that you're healthy and that you're happy. Uh, leave a comment below if you have a question or you want to make a comment and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.